Hello everyone, dear friends. Another Zero pinball machine has been sent for repair. This is already two similar devices from subscribers, on which I am filming a video. The defect, of course, is not the same as last time, otherwise I would not have filmed this video. Let me remind you that last time the device was after flooding and froze during operation, but this device is currently not turned on at all. And if you connect the charger, a reset menu is displayed from which you cannot exit. Well, when the external power is turned off, the device immediately turns off. This is the manifestation of the defect. Well, let's try to find out what could have happened to this dolphin. Maybe we will even be able to restore it to the delight of the owner. According to established tradition, we will begin repairs by disassembling the body, unscrewing the screws and removing the cover. It is additionally fixed on a couple of solos, one of which I was unable to save sadly, but sometimes this happens. Next, I unscrew the board mounting screws and remove the electronics from the two parts of the case. I noticed that there was somehow too much dust in the area of the cross, although there were no signs of flooding. The buttons themselves click well too. This is probably the norm for the device that is used, but just in case I will check the board from the button's side. To do this, I disconnect the battery cable, unfasten the loop from the back and separate the payment from the display. I unscrew a couple of screws and remove the screen lock with the button pushers. The condition of the board with the Micrix is close to perfect, no dirt or fill everything almost like new. I don't see any obvious defects here, I'll check the serviceability of the Microns to see if there are any stuck ones among them. There may be a reduced resistance somewhere, which is determined by the device as a permanently pressed button, which triggers reset mode when turned on. To be honest, I haven't studied buttons on this device, so I can't say which of the clamped buttons can trigger the reset. I found a reduced resistance on only one button, on the up button here, 200 ohms, while on the other buttons the resistance is tens of kilo ohms. The button seems to be stuck. To tell you the truth, I only noticed this when editing the video. Immediately during the repair, I did not attach much importance to this, I connected both boards to check what was there with the battery charging. I wonder why the device turns off immediately when the power cable is disconnected. When the cable is connected, the reset mode is also started, as it was before disassembly. At the same time, there is no significant consumption from the charger. The consumption indicator is zero, that is, the consumption current does not exceed 200 billion from this value. A tor on this charger begins to see battery voltage consumption of 2 and 80 to 100 volts. The battery is in a deep discharge. I charge it directly from a laboratory power supply. To bring it out of this state, the current is limited to 2 amps, literally 10 seconds. From the built-in charging system should pick up the process. Of course, if it is in good working order, the current consumption from the charger is now 700 billion. Chick started charging himself. Well, one less problem. But the defect with the reset menu hasn't gone anywhere yet. I checked the voltage on the buttons to make sure everything is okay. Almost all of the buttons are 3 and 3 volts, and the top one had no voltage at first, and then out of nowhere it appeared like the button was sticking off. Then the machine started. I started to respond to the button normally, but there was still something wrong. For example, now the button lock mode started spontaneously, and I couldn't turn it off. I pressed the back button, but it didn't work. It seems that at this moment some other button is pressed. Only up, obviously, measured the tension on her. That is, I carried out some manipulations, and the problem went away for some time. The button came off, and I even managed to turn off the device by pressing the back button for a long time. However, when turning it on, the familiar problem arose again. There is no voltage on the up buttons again, it seems to be clamped. Well, maybe the problem is with the button itself, since this is the most obvious one. Let's see what's inside it. Are there any defects under the membrane? Everything here is clean, and the reduced resistance is 200 ohms as it was. Well, naturally voltage 3 is not worried. What an excellent result, I tore the button, 
and found out that it wasn't the button. At the same time, now the button will need to be replaced since it cannot be assembled, as it was from the factory damaged the tape that fixes the metal membrane. Okay, this is not a problem, I have the necessary microns. Now it is important to understand what the actual cause of the defect is. To do this, let's look at the diagram of this node. Here is the circuit of buttons. These are the buttons themselves, these are resistors, voltage boosters of 3 and 3 volts, and to protect the signal inputs of the controller from electrostatic discharge. Parallel to each button, a protective element is installed. By the way, ECD is an electrostatic discharge. Since we have a reduced resistance on the UP button, then the corresponding protection element may have failed. CD, that is, varistor. Well, the circuit has been studied, now let's go under the microscope to look for all these elements directly on the board. This is our open-up button. This is its 3 and 3 volt pull-up resistor. And this ECD protection resistor seemed to have some kind of whitish coating next to it. Perhaps oxidized washed it with gasoline? This gave a result, but I don't want to leave it like that, since the defect can repeat. I will change the menu to the non-rester for one button. I use a soldering iron, since a hairdryer can damage the adjacent button or screen. Installing a new button. By the way, I will leave a link to this type of button in the description. Maybe it will be useful to someone? Good move on to protection. I have a small supply of 5 volt baristors for static protection. They are a little more left in size. I have an ebook after repairing that just had a problem with the buttons. Several such baristas were broken there. I also changed and soldered the old element, scraped off the track to fit the larger size of the new part, and soldered it. Soldering quality checked under microscope. In general, everything is fine. You can check the operation of the device and connect the power. Great, now everything works as it should, you can assemble the electronics in the case and conduct full testing. I updated the firmware to the latest version, otherwise some functions did not work. During the tests, I found no additional defects. The only thing I noticed is that sometimes the center button of the crosshairs when pressed gives a double response. The defect is rare, but very annoying, decided to replace the problematic micro switch. The work is simple. As you understand, I have already replaced one of the microns. After completion of the work, an additional defect was eliminated. I checked everything again, found no other problems, and that's when Remu finished. By the way, I have already sent the device back to the subscriber. I hope it will work reliably. Dear friends, I will finish this today.
Let me remind you that you can contact me through donations, the link is in the description. Also subscribe to our telegram channel, there is all the latest news regarding new repairs. Thank you all for your attention and see you soon.